What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you possible leaked information surrounding the future of Destiny and Destiny 2. But before we get into that, if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning absolutely nothing, can we reach a million likes on this video? Winner won't be announced tomorrow because I'm giving away absolutely jack shit. Now, information regarding the future of Destiny, a recent post dropped on Reddit, which I will link in that video description if you guys do want to check it out. Okay, so I'm going to read straight up what this dude says, and it states, Recently through contact with an employee within the administrative ranks of Bungie, I've been presented with new information about the future of Destiny. I am to remain anonymous through the entire post due to the jeopardy of my contacts. Information ahead of the conference call which will be coming later today by Activision. The next instalment in the Destiny franchise will be revealed as Destiny 2 Forge of Hope. It will be launching in quarter 4 2017 with an estimated window release of November 4th to November 18th. The next instalment will be launching on 5 platforms, PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, Xbox Scorpio to be announced and PC. Console exclusivity will remain on PlayStation but will be reduced to 3 months. It will launch with 3 editions, Destiny 2 Forge of Hope including to be announced pre-order bonus. Then we've got Destiny 2 Forge of Hope including to be announced pre-order and special in-game cosmetics and then we've got Destiny 2 Forge of Hope including to be announced pre-order, special in-game cosmetics and a 1.2 scale of the Exo Strangers Relic of Necessity. The game has a whole new engine built from the ground up with the ability for Bungie to rapidly create and add new content to the world of Destiny. Bungie is scheduling for an event release every one to two months, centering around a theme similar to Overwatch while also delivering new narrative paths and new play mechanics. Spoilers on story, so if you don't want to know the story or possible spoilers, you may want to turn off the video now. The sequel will heavily focus on chronological events set after the fall 2015 expansion of Taken King. The Cabal forces attack the city leaving civilians and mentors of the tower defenceless. It's the Guardian's job to fight back the Cabal and reclaim the city. While doing so, the Guardian will discover the long lost stories of Queen Marasov and the Exo Stranger's motives. The story will culminate with the tower and city fighting back the Cabal Empire, resulting in the Guardian defeating the leader of the Cabal in the new raid. The future of Destiny, Bungie's plan to release substantial content updates for each quarter, similar to the April update. Bungie already have a small team working on the first major expansion to be released in 2018. Details are limited but it is aimed to be centred around the Vex and the origins of Kabar and Freydef. This is all my info for now, there will be more in the future. Okay so that is it, that is the recent leak, everything the dude has stated. Now take it with a pinch of salt, this is all speculation, this has not been confirmed legit at all. Well it does sound a little persuading in my opinion, I mean there's nothing here over the top, there's nothing here over exaggerated, this is quite new information I haven't really heard before apart from the tower and the cabal shit and due to recent other leaks could actually be the storyline for Destiny 2. I also look forward and can't wait to see if legit the new engine built from the ground up which has the ability for Bungie to rapidly create and add new content to the world of Destiny. The release date as well stated in this leak will be in quarter 4 2017 this year so within the window of November 4th and November 18th. So that's two leaks that have come out over recent months that have confirmed that the game will not be delayed. Well not until 2018 anyway, which is great news in my opinion. Although if it did mean that the title would be a lot better if it was delayed, I would go for being delayed. I mean I don't want a game rushed like Destiny 1 seemed to be. Also console exclusivity will remain on PlayStation, but exclusivity period will be reduced for 3 months. I mean, what is it now? About three years. I mean, we still ain't got no more fucking Jade Rabbit on Xbox. It's just ridiculous. Or the Zen Meteor, whatever the fuck else there is. 
So yeah, three months, I mean, is that a lot better? Yes, I'm an Xbox player. I'd love Xbox to get exclusivity, but that is just not going to happen. I mean, Bungie seems cemented with PlayStation. Which, to be honest, I can't really complain about that because I think there's more players on PlayStation and it has a bigger fan base. So it makes sense logically for Bungie to take sides with PlayStation, plus all that money you know they're throwing at Bungie. It just makes sense. Also, he states that Bungie already have a small team working on the first major expansion to be released in fall 2018. I mean, if they've got people already working on an expansion, the game's got to be somewhat close to finished. I mean, the Activision conference call is later today. I think it's around 5, 6 p.m. I'm not quite sure. Um, if you do know the exact time, do let me know down below in that comments section. As that's something we've got to watch. I mean, there's no confirmation that they will announce anything Bungie related. But you just never know. You just never damn know. So Destiny 2, Forge of Hope. Will this be what Destiny 2 is called? Who knows? But let me know your opinion on this down below in that comment section. Like I said, it's all speculation. Nothing's been confirmed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong. Knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. You never get it right.